Top 5 repositories that you can use in your Android app. On number 5, it's MicroZ Project Repository. This repository provides lightweight alternatives to Google Play services. It supports app compatibility on degoogled Android devices. Some of the apps inside this repository include GMS Core, GSF Proxy, Fake Store. On number 4, we have Guardian Project Repository. It delivers apps for secure communication and privacy. It offers stable and beta versions for security enthusiasts. Total number of apps in this repository is 20. Some of the app examples are Orbit, Orfox, and Char Secure. On number 3, we have God Divest OS Repository. It supplies privacy-focused apps for de-googled setups. It is tailored for diverse OS and privacy-focused users. Total number of apps is 30. Some of the examples of apps inside this repository include Mall, Hypatia, and PDF Converter. On number 2, it's Easy Android Repository. It hosts developer-signed privacy-friendly app binaries. It complements official AppDroid with broader inclusion criteria. It also covers utilities, productivity, and multimedia apps. Number of apps is 1300. Some of the app examples are Antenna Pod, Material Files, and Amaze File Manager. On number 1, we have got the official AppDroid repository that comes with the AppDroid app by default. It's the primary hub for open source Android apps. All of the apps are open source. It focuses on user privacy and software freedom. And names of some awesome apps include NewPipe, Termux, and K9Mail. Apart from all these repositories, there's one bonus repository that is Futo repository. It hosts privacy-focused apps developed by Futo. It offers tools for secure communication and media consumption. All the apps are open source and user control software. Only three apps are included inside this repository, but the apps are awesome. They are Circles, Futo Keyboard, and Grey J. So these are the best repositories that you can use in your Android app. Like this video and subscribe to this channel.